Well, this was our introduction to answer set programming. So we were pretty thorough in presenting the syntax and semantics of propositional logic programs. And the remaining sections were more or less paving the way for the next part, which is on modeling. And which will actually be a lot of fun. Anyway, so here is just a list of concepts I thought that, uh, that you actually should take home from this um, part. There are atoms, what are atoms, what are literals, heads, bodies, rules, positive rules. What is a positive, what is a normal logic problems? I think these are concepts you should really more or less have a very well under, um, a very good understanding of now. And then of course we looked at terms, variables, safety, uh, ground terms, ground atoms and ground rules, which is again important for you to get the idea is how you come from a non-ground program to a ground program. And finally, in the modeling section, you will see many more examples of integrity constraints, cardinality and weight constraints, and some optimization statements. So all this more or less is just syntax and what it means we looked at in, in, on the semantical side. So the meaning is given by, well, it depends on how you look at it, assignment solutions, interpretations, models, sets, closed sets. So in particular for, for capturing uh, closed sets, we looked, at the, we looked at the TP operator, or we, and we will actually come back to this later again. And then there are the concepts, closure, reduct, and then finally, the stable models. Okay, so these were the key concepts of this part. And well, as I told you, this was a big part, but at the end of the day, the syntax and semantics we can ban on a single slide, and here it is. So I won't go through this again. I'll put this presumably aside for you that if you need something to quickly get syntax and semantics, here it is. Uh, logic program, rule, redux, and stable model. These are the basic ingredients. And so this brings me to the very end of this part. And here it is again. Auf Wiedersehen. And tomorrow isn't staying out. I'll be back without a doubt. Well, stay tuned and see you for the next part. Bye.